Welcome to SFSU, a show created by the students for the students. Join us for a spectacular show full of enjoyment and insight as we discover what really goes on at SFSU with your hosts, Maya, May, and Julian, and Joey on the Street. Lights, camera, and action. I'm Maya Menachem. I'm Julian Sanders. And I'm Maybe Danes. You know, it's been really fun showing off all the great people here at San Francisco State and getting to showcase all the really cool things this school has to offer. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna miss this a little bit. I can't believe it's about to be over. Come on, don't be too sen sentimental on us, Julian. It's not my fault. It's just been great getting to know the crew, play silly games with people from around the campus. I can't help it if I like to have fun. Well, the fun's not over yet. Yeah, yeah, and this is our final episode, and we're hoping to go out with a bang. This week, my well-dressed colleagues and I are going to be talking about fashion. Yeah, we'll share a little bit of behind-the-scenes footage from the SFSU Fashion Design Department's fashion show, and I'll be talking to a student in the major whose pieces were on the runway. We're also going to be talking with a fellow Becca student about sustainable fashion practices. And then we're going to be doing some wardrobe changes as we put someone to the task of putting together outfits for different occasions. We'll also run into our resident student on the street, Joey, to talk to students about the fashion trends they like and get to know where the students of San Francisco State shop to fill their wardrobes. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us on this episode of SFSU. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for tuning in to SFSU. San Francisco State has an apparel design and merchandising department where aspiring fashionistas can learn how to develop designs and bring their ideas to life. For this episode, we were lucky to be able to bring in Donna Kim, an apparel and design student. Thanks so much for coming on today, Donna. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, so we talked a little bit before about how the inspiration for your pieces were inspired by traditional Korean clothing and how uh, tradition basically affects modernity. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the collection that you put together for the show. Yeah, definitely. I chose like a tra traditional Korean clothing as kind of my base um, because I thought it'd be pretty easy just to do in the time frame of a semester to develop this, right. do the sketches and sew it all up. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I just kind of thought of like what's something easy but still looks, you know, at least decent for a portfolio and gives me enough challenge. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So was it more challenging or easy for you, considering you know it's um, it's it's taking uh, what you already know with tradition and then kind of putting a spin on it? Would you say it was more challenging? I think um, because the like basic of it was pretty easy. I chose fabrics that were challenging to work with. Um, I used a lot of sheer fabrics, and it's really like. Um, what's the word? Slippery, so mm -hmm. it's like hard to make it stay still and look clean and have clean seams, and it frays a bunch. Right. Um, so that was like really hard to handle. But um, other than that, it was pretty nice. I had a surging machine which cleans mm -hmm. my edges really <laughs> nicely. Right. Um, so I was fortunate to have that. Yeah. And how long did it take you to make? A, like, how long would it take you to make one piece? Uh, so, I guess. A week to like construct the pattern and then sew up, sew it up and like finish it all. Okay. I'd say a week or so. Okay, that's a pretty solid timeline. But it's also a school timeline. So yeah. I get so it. it was definitely like a week, a whole look that I had to do in the last month because we had four total looks: three mm -hmm. from the senior and one like experimental. Right. So I just had a week to work on it. Right. Um, so. Moving a little bit away from that, you've also mentioned to me before how you've sold your own work a few times at school. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about how it feels to, you know, get support from the students like that? Yeah, oh my gosh, it's so heartwarming and really encouraging. Um, even like when I posted on my Instagram, uh, my senior collection, like a photo, some people responded like, I love this and I can't wait to support you more. And um, it was just so like unbelievable in yeah. a way, you know. Let's take a closer look at the pieces that Donna made for the show along with some other pieces that fashion students put together.
So the fashion show is finally over and the semester's coming to a close. How do you feel about the response that your pieces got? I only kind of heard from like my friends and family, so I feel like they were just kind of going to be overwhelmingly like supportive yeah. of it. Um, but uh, considering my mom, she's also like an art teacher and she also sews herself. Mm -hmm. um, like her critique, I guess, was really like, I guess underwhelming. Oh, okay. um, there are a lot of like things I regret or I wish I could have done differently, but she's also pretty understanding of the time frame. And she said, for what you can do, it's like great work. So I was like, that's sweet. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. On, I, I, I get that. That's, real, that's really great feedback, actually, especially as an artist, you're always growing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then, so you are graduating this semester. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you expect to take what you learned from your time at SFSU um, on with you to, as you continue to develop more ideas? It's like I just only have more room to grow and mm -hmm. learn elsewhere. Um, so taking this like basic foundation of knowledge that I've gathered here and definitely can apply it elsewhere. Right. So <laughs> where do you see yourself going next after graduation or even just next week if you decide to start there? <laughs> um, all I've thought of for now, my lease is up in January, so I'm going to try to stay around in SF until then. And I've already spoken with gallery spaces and other artists in SF. Um, and I'm going to try to host like a fashion show yeah. and like, um, yeah, get that going somewhere here. Um, and also just trying to find like other gallery or museum spaces I can work with, yeah. along with doing my own personal projects. Oh, I really love that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. And thanks, for, thanks so much for coming on to our show today, letting us follow you on the fashion show. and. You know, hopefully we'll be seeing your work in a gallery or another runway soon, you know? Yeah, definitely. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, Donna. And now we're going to check in with Maya for some red carpet glamour and some sustainable fashion tips. The Met Gala is one of the fashion events of the year. Now, although, did you know that the gala itself is the annual fundraiser event for the Met's Costume Institute? And even though the gala has been around since 1948, it wasn't quite a themed event until 1973. Now, the Met Gala is fashion's biggest night and an opportunity for celebrities to show off their wilder sides. However, red carpet looks are definitely subject to criticism, not only for their styles, but also for their fashion sustainability. With us today, we have Syra, a fellow Becca student. Thank you for so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh, now in just a few moments, Syra will be sharing some of her own fashion tips. But for right now, we're going to be we're going to be playing a little game called Hit or Miss Met Gala 2022 edition. We're going to show Syra a few looks from this year's Met Gala and get her opinion, letting us know if she thinks it's a total hit or a total miss. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Now, this first outfit we're looking at is Cara Delevingne. What do you think? Hit or miss? Uh, I would say, for me at least, I mm -hmm. think it's a miss. Ooh, okay. Because of it doesn't really go along with the theme, I would say. Mm. You know, especially the top part. <laughs> yes, I see, I see. I mean, it's the gilded, what is it again? The theme is? Gilded glamour. Gilded, gl yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. The color scheme is really nice. Mm -hmm. I like, I always like a good gold and red combo, but. Totally. Yeah, I for mean, me, it would dealer. be a miss. But it's going to be a miss, yeah. not with the theme too much. All right, well, there you have it. It's a miss. Now, this next one is Gunna with a Ledger Nano X wallet. What do you think? Hit or miss? Uh, let's see. I love the overcoat. Mm -hmm. I love the colorway of the navy and the gold. Um, I think it's a miss. I mean, no. I Ooh. would say it's a hit. It's a hit? Yes. You like it? I would have wanted a top hat. Oh, to okay. Go with it. That would have complete the look with the cape kind of thing. Yeah, I think it would have. Ooh, that would have been cool. But it is good so far with what they have right now. Yeah. I think it's a hit. There you have it. It's a hit. Now up next we have Kate Perry wearing Oscar de la Renta. Now what do you think? This is a hit or a miss? I love this dress. Yeah. I think it looks really good on her. Mm -hmm. It's one of the better dresses that I saw of the night. Ooh. I don't know what you think about her dress, but I think it is a hit. I think so too. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. I love the color. It drapes down very beautifully. Um, there you have it. It's a total <laughs> hit. 
Now, this last one right here sparked some controversy, but this is Kim Kardashian in a dress that Marilyn Monroe wore when she sang happy birthday to JFK. What do you think, hit or miss? I know this was a controversial dress. I mm -hmm. saw it all over social media yeah. <laughs> that night. Um, I would say it is a miss for Ooh, me. It's a Be miss? Yeah. The dress is really nice. I was surprised that they, she would be allowed to wear it. I yeah. didn't think anybody would wear it. It's like a um, historical, right? Yeah, it's, it's like, like a iconic. historical garment. But um, I mm. think, I don't know, for the event, I wouldn't have worn that dress specifically, even yeah. though it's a really nice one. Yeah, it is a really gorgeous dress, but not, not for us today. There you have it. It's a miss. Um, but... <laughs> No, thank you so much for playing that game with me. That was oh, really yeah, fun was to really see all fun. the dresses. Yeah. Um, now, we know that fashion isn't always about you know, runway, runways and red carpets, even if it seems like it. While it's fun to take a look at what celebrities are wearing to events, it's not quite sustainable. It's not quite a sustainable practice to be constantly buying new clothes. Syra here produced an, an, and edited a documentary about fast fashion and overconsumption. And today, she's here to share some tips about how to think about fashion in a more eco-friendly way. Yeah, I think it's really important to think about the impact that fast fashion has had. And I think, well, I could give some tips on how to make yeah. your closet a little bit more sustainable, That's which is always really nice. Um, my first tip would be to thrift the, mm. clothing, the clothing items if you're looking for um, a new outfit to wear. It's important to take into consideration that there's a lot of thrift stores around, like Goodwills or the Salvation Army as well. Um, so yeah, take some time to go to, to a thrift store, look at some items, even if it uh, takes a while. It's always really fun. I've gone myself to look for a new outfit, and it's fun to see what you can find. My second, time, my second tip would be to take care of the stuff that you already own, which is crucial for us to stop over consuming. I think just taking the time to read the labels uh, to learn how to properly wash and dry your clothing items can really allow them to last for a longer time. And my third tip would be to tailor your own clothing items. I would say just take them to a tailor if it doesn't fit quite right or if you're trying to learn a new hobby like me, um, mm -hmm. try to learn how to sew. That's what I'm trying to teach myself now it's a fun hobby to pick up and it's really beneficial in the long run to tailor your own clothing items those are some awesome tips i know like when, when you like it's good to take care of your clothes so you can you know reuse them again and if they get broken up you can sew them back up a little bit and mm -hmm. get it fixed thank you so much for those tips yeah now you can check out her trailer to her documentary um, overflow on the becca docs youtube channel and the full documentary will be available there as well now, let's check in with Joey to see what SF State students have to say about fashion trends. Nope. <laughs> cool. I'm Joey Foisy, all dressed up with nowhere to go. And this is Student on the Street. <laughs> Today we're talking about fashion, about clothes. And there's something happening here, uh, which is cool, which means a lot of people are here and they have clothes on. I have clothes on. Give me the fit. Am I dripped out? Leave a comment. Let me know. Don't do that. Student on the street, Joey Foisy. Let's go. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Sierra. Sierra, do you like wearing clothes? Yeah. Me too. Uh, what's your favorite fashion trend right now? I don't know if this is like a very popular trend going on right now, but hair scarves, I will die in them. I kind of like shirts that got stupid things on them. Like stupid, like Garfield? Yeah. I love like the vintage inspired fashion. You see like a lot of 1960s fashion coming back in. I used to see people wearing Victorian dresses at my community college. Very Jane Austen. I got like three Garfield shirts. That's cool. I'm really just playing with shapes and silhouettes. Like I know everyone's like adding belts and cinching everything. So I like adding some like shape to my outfits but also like some movement with like some drape or something flowy something pretty mm -hmm. so wear what makes you feel good so that's like the kind of trend that i'm going for right now so just confident comfortable and stop body shaming people that's my thing yes 
Comfort first. I'm glad you're not torturing yourself. <laughs> I am also glad. I'm glad I stopped wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> What's your least favorite fashion trend right now? The corset trend, like the corset tops. Um, not for me. I don't think this is still popular, but a while ago it was chunky tennies with like slim satin dresses. I don't know. It threw me off heck of bad when I saw it. Those shoes that are like really clunky and like big. <laughs> like, I don't know. They kind of, they're, they're, it's giving like rock shoes. I don't know how to describe it. I guess like the inside out kind of look for t-shirts. Inside out? So it's like, I think it's like with Y2K, it's like reversed and it's like cut into different color blocks and it has like the frayed edges. I'm trying to picture this in my head and I'm imagining how I dressed in second grade. <laughs> so maybe not. What trend do you want to come back? Definitely, I feel like it's already coming back, intricate braiding styles like you used to see on 90s TV shows. Like if you watch Moesha, she had different hairstyles pretty much every episode. Capes. Honestly, the Visco girl thing was kind of funny. Where they were like the, the scrunchies and stuff. That was kind of funny. It reminded me of like, Pitch Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Like Victorian capes. I want to come to school in like a long red velvet cape looking all mysterious. The way people dressed in like the 60s, I think. And like, it was constantly like dresses. Jewelry, I love accessorizing. That's what really adds any outfit for me. So I think everyone should continue to accessorize and bring pieces that matter to them. So bring back silly bands? Ooh, yeah. silly bands. Yeah. That, those did matter to me. I had them all up yeah. here. It's all about what you care about. Me, I, I love platform shoes. I am obsessed with like tall, being taller, being the tallest person in the room, mm -hmm. stomping around. I think it's a really cute trend and everyone should rock a platform. <laughs> I am telling everybody I know to get six inch platform boots. They should. Because imagine if we were all just like seven feet tall. Yeah. No, you know when to look down upon Oh at my all. god, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a spiritual experience. Where do you guys get your clothes? Mm, I'm usually big on thrifting. So like Goodwill or um, the consignment shops down in Hayden Ashbury, Aritzia, and then last, last thing, fast fashion. That's, I usually try to do that as a last ditch effort. Urban Outfitters, sadly, or Target. I go to Target a lot, so. Target. I have the cutest brown cardigan that I got from Target and I would literally wear it all the time. It's like such good quality and it was like $25. Uh, I go to Uniqlo a lot now. Mainly thrifting, but like last ditch effort, like Sheen, because it's affordable. Uh, either the thrift store or I steal from my sister. That's being resourceful. Exactly. Like a place that my job like, specializes in slow fashion, where they use like dead stock of fabrics and they make things in smaller batches, so it's like more like just unique. It's called Five and Diamond on Valencia. Definitely go check it out if you're into the festival scene or just dark fashion or just looking cool. Like seriously, come and stop by. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, Sierra. You're welcome. Any last words? Valenciaga! <laughs> Student on the street. Welcome to Purple Rush. For this week, we are going to see what kind of outfits our designer can put together. Behind us is an array of clothing and accessories and a dress form that our contestant is going to dress up based on their own takes of specific styles. Today, we have Ahn with us. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Ahn is a major of design and merchandising. And with us, uh, we're gonna have three rounds for each round, I'm gonna tell you what kind of event we're putting a look together for. And I'd like you to put together that look based on the outfits that we have in one minute. After that minute, we'll take a look at what you've put together. We'll talk about it a little bit, okay? Are okay. you ready? Yeah. All right, so for the very first event, you'll be finding an outfit for a nice day at the park. Let's get one minute on the clock. Ready, set, Designers make it work. <laughs> okay. All right, she's looking through that. They're looking through it, trying to pick out an outfit. Again, it's a sunny day at the park. Mm -hmm. Stay out at the park. The weather's nice. Maybe you're going to, I don't know, go 
Golden Gate Park. It's lovely out there. You're about halfway through. Time's moving a little quickly. Okay, you're ready? you're ready? You're ready? Yeah. All right. Anne's got it. They've decided that this is what we're going to go to. And let's take a look and see what that looks like. All right, so Ann has put together this lovely outfit for a day at the park. Tell us a little bit about it. So I wanted to put together an outfit that would reflect the kind of day that we we're gonna have. And so like this just immediately made me think of like the blue sky. And I love having browns in a daytime outfit because like it can go either way. It can be flexible for any occasion, but yeah, I course. love the soft color of this brown together with this dark, more chocolate shade. Yeah, it's like, looks amazing. it just looks really cute. Well, great. This was awesome. 60 seconds, folks, fashion in 60 seconds. Take a look at that. That is beautiful. All right, folks, now on to round number two. The event we are going to be looking for is a night out with friends, okay? Okay. Let's get 60 seconds on the clock and go. Oh, no worries, keep going, <laughs> keep going. Focus on the prize. This is a night out with friends. You're maybe going to the club. Maybe you're just Ooh. gonna go have dinner. Oh, this is cute. That's really cute. Oh, that jacket. Probably need that here in San Francisco. It gets a little chilly at night, you know? Ooh, not like that, not like that. Nope, she didn't like that one. What is this? It's another little skirt. Got a few Ooh. skirts over there. Ah, no, that's fine. Mm, I think this is okay. Okay, Wait, this is it. Stop the clock. We've got this. Now, let's take a look at what Ann has picked. <laughs> All right, I just want to say, On, you are out there killing it with these outfits. I mean, my goodness, you are just fast, fast, speed, speed. All right, this okay. is our night out with friends. Tell us a little bit about it. So again, like before, I really love a good brown, especially on this plaid pattern dress and a leather jacket. Obviously, it tells you you're going out oh, at yeah. night with oh, your yeah. friends. This and leather. it's a really nice, cute look to wear at the club. Ooh. The club. Yeah. We going to the club after this? Ah. I got my brown on. All right. <laughs> All right. Now we are going to move on to round number three. Amazing. All right. This is our final round. So let's make it count. One minute on the clock. For this round, you'll be choosing a look that something we're all going to be needing very, very soon. Okay. The <laughs> event is a job interview. Job interview, okay. all right? Okay. You've left yourself with a few a few options. This I've is what lot. you've got to choose from. I've, I've got a lot. Okay, <laughs> they're, they're okay. ready. All right, and designers make it work. Okay. This is a job interview. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I like that, I like that. Oh. Do, you, do you like the design the design major here? Yeah. You having a good time? Yeah, it's pretty chill actually. You're graduating this year, huh? Yeah. Congratulations. Can't wait. You, could, you could be picking out the outfit for your next job. What do we have? 30 seconds? Alright. Ooh, that's too too much, too much. Oh, that's too casual. <laughs> too casual. Oh, uh, there, I got it. Okay, we got it. Now Let's take a look and see what Ann's put together. All right, another really killer round by Ann. You're doing so well. I noticed when you were picking this outfit out though, there was no brown and I'm a little sad because you, know. you were on the brown side today. I know, I was it's looking for it. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. All right, Ann, tell me about this job interview look. My first thought putting this outfit together was like a question in my head, like what would my mom wear to work? Oh, yeah. Because like yeah. that's the most professional thing ever I've seen. <laughs> and this pattern reminded me of a lot of her jackets and she'd always wear like a white blouse on it's top beautiful. too. And the straight leg pants, it seems pretty typical to me. It seems formal enough, like they're gonna take me seriously. But also they'll know like what my personality is based on this jacket, so. 
yeah, that's how I put this outfit together. Awesome, On. Thank you so much. All right, there you have it. For all you looking for those jobs after graduation, this is the look you need to be putting on. Amazing job. Thank you so much for coming on today, On. Hopefully, this sparked some of your inspiration for people out there. Um, and we, for now, we're going to head back to the runway. But thank you so much again for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. Of course. Thank you for coming to Purple Rush. Thank you so much for tuning in to SFSU, the show made by students for students. This will be our final episode of the semester, but the entire crew is so grateful for all of the support that we've been given. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's been really, it's been a wonderful semester, and I hope we inspired you to get to know more about the campus we're spending so much time with. Our time here is almost up, but hey, do you think we can get one last get, Let's Go Gators? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. We got our runway time. What about Joey? Where is he? Does he even know where Marcus Hall is? Is he still on campus? Oh, Joey! <laughs> Better late than never, right? I mean, it's about time you showed up. So. All right, guys, we got the entire gang now. Do you think it's time? It's time. Signing off for the last time. I'm Maya. I'm Julian. I'm May. And I'm Joey. Can we get a Let's Go Gators? Let's, Let's go, go Gators! Gators!